there is one thing I like to fix in the workflow um, is uh, that when the user uh, inputs uh, his email, I like this um, information to be sent uh, to the pop-up. Uh, to do so, we need to use something called a parameter and to send uh, the parameter in the URL. Uh, there will be a few steps to do so. Um, so, uh, the first step um, is that we'll need uh, to use a slightly different system uh, than the one we have in place. Um, I need to create um, a sign-up page. Okay, so sign up, create, and um, instead of using the pop-up on uh, our uh, current page, we would rather use a, a different page, and I'll explain why we should do this. So this page will be our sign-up page, and I will use the same uh, pop-up we already created, and I draw Okay, so this is really the same pop-up we already parametered before, so we don't need to do anything to it. It already has, has email, first name, last name, that's good. And um, when I'm on the index page, uh, what I want to do is to change uh, what happens after the join now. So let's click on join now, start and edit workflow. And I was showing uh, the pop-up that was on my page, but in fact, if you do this like that, you cannot send uh, data in parameters. So that's only why I'm going to do this edit. So instead of showing the pop-up like this, I'm going to delete this step, and I'm going to go uh, to the page I just created. So let's go to sign up. And if you do it, uh, this way, you'll be able to see send more parameters to a page. I'm going to click this box and I'm going to create a parameter. So let's call it email. And um, it is going to be populated uh, with the input uh, on the index page. So uh, our the only input on the index page is input email address and we choose value. Um, so basically we just said every time someone uh, clicked on join now it will go to the sign up page and it will send as a key, uh, as a parameter, sorry, uh, the user's email address basically. Uh, so we also need to edit something on the sign up page. So on the sign up page uh, let's go on design and you see that we just pasted the sign up and login pop-up. And okay, now you remember that we cannot um, uh, edit the workflows of reusable elements if you go on the page. So we need to go on the reusable element. So let's go there. And here we want to change uh, something on the email because we want uh, the content of the email to be populated uh, with the parameter we've just created. So in initial content, you just need to um, here to insert dynamic data and you are going to choose, uh, so type URL and you choose get data from page URL. And it's going to open this box and you just type the parameter name you've created um, in the step before. And uh, we are good, we should be good. Uh, let's preview our app to see uh, if, we, if what we just did worked. So we need to go on the index page uh, and to click on preview and to wait for it to refresh. Great. So let's enter an email and see if it populates the pop-up. And join now. Okay, so you notice that the pop-up doesn't show up, so we need to make sure it does. So let's go back. Uh, and so, 
button join nice click, we go to page sign up. So we need to go to page sign up and see what happens. So we want to say that uh, each time this page is loaded, uh, we want uh, for the pop-up to show up. So yeah, that's it. So when the page sign up will be loaded, it will show the pop-up. So let's check if it worked. We need to go back to index and click on preview. Okay, back to the test. So let's enter an email address and join now. Perfect, so it worked perfectly. Uh, we can see the pop-up and it has been populated uh, with the proper email address.